stop anything! On guys, Goldie coming at you for part two. That's actually four, but part two of my Black Panther reviews. And let me tell you, man, these figures are fire, dude. If you're a fan of the movie, you're gonna want these guys, especially that guy, that Killmonger, is fan. Fantastic! So good, so good. Uh, let's look at Killmonger first, cause Claw, you know, is cool but mildly disappointing, and we'll get into that in a minute. But oh, Killmonger! Michael B. Jordan, flame on! Yet another one of the uh, the people that has been in, you know, two movies. We we played Killmonger. We played Johnny Storm. So awesome. But either which way, guys, this figure's, uh, this figure's fire, dude. I mean, it does have some reuse components. Now, originally, the first time we saw these legs, there goes the mask. <laughs> the first time we saw these legs, though, was on the Punisher. But in all, all reality, the first time we saw these legs was on the Mandarin release that they were going to do years ago from Iron Man 3. They got held forever until the 10th anniversary pack that was an Amazon exclusive. But who cares? But the legs are a reuse. Now, this is a new pouch pack, which is cool. A lot of little detail on it. Looks like it might have some clips in there. This is also a brand new pouch pack, which is very cool, but a little disappointing because, I mean, come on, guys. We could get a gun to go in there, can't we? And the uh, the Desert Eagle has nowhere to go at all. Take a good likeness of the Michael B. Jordan face. It looks fantastic. He comes with the gun that Punisher came with. It's, a, it's an ice M16 over under. I noticed that my belt... I don't know about you guys out there who have Killmonger. My belt comes off all the time, and it's really kind of annoying. But, I mean, he just stands in a corner and does his thing, and he's Killmongering it up, and he's awesome. The mask, as you can see, is removable, and the detail on it is awesome. Like, that is so good. Focus camera! So good. So good! But, man, Michael B. Jordan, you look awesome. Now, let's talk about uh, Mr. Claw. Which I was really happy when I found out that Andy Serkis was playing him. I mean, the figure's awesome. It's nice. It's awesome to get a claw. I don't like kind of the the beat up face though. I don't I don't really like that. But I mean, the likeness of Circus is dead on. It's so good. Comes with this little gun, and my favorite part is the uh, the claw arm. And it's really cool that the MCU added that in. It was really a nifty. I'm gonna pop the arm here real quick, guys. Really a nifty little thing that they did that. Because, um, you know, if you're a follower of the comics or even the Avengers cartoons, we know that Claw's got that uh, that sound uh, sound arm. So what Hasbro did and what they did in the movie is made it a little robotic prost uh, prosthetic limb. So, I mean, he... I mean, it's really cool. And what I think is the absolute best about this figure, and I'm not lying to you at all, I think... What makes this figure the hottest figure on the planet right now, to be dead honest, is, uh, you guys remember that chameleon that came out a while back in, uh, you know, uh, a, a Spider-Man wave? It might have been the Green Goblin wave. I don't remember exactly. I've been collecting legends so long that I, my brain hurts, but, uh, this is what we've been doing, guys. I mean, I know a lot of you have seen it, but look at that. Parker! Get in here and bring me those pictures of Spider-Man right now! Ah! Yikes! But yeah, that's 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 what we're doing with Claw, guys. And a lot of guys are even removing this vest here, which underneath is just a plain white shirt, and uh, popping on good old Parker's head. So, yeah, which makes it awesome! But guys, if you if you are a fan of the MCU, if you are a collector of the MCU, you want the Black Panther wave. All the figures are currently available at Mr. Wayne's Pop Culture Collectibles in Ted West Burlington and Westmont, Illinois. Goldie's favorite place to get his toys and his favorite place to hang out. I mean, come up there. Eh? You never know, man. Usually Wednesday nights. I'll give you guys a little secret if you want to meet me. Wednesday nights is usually when I go up there. But... Pop in, say what's up to Goldie, man. Pop in anyway. So it's up to Mike and Joe. Those guys are awesome. And uh, hey, they're you supporters of stuff and things just like you all should be. Support. Hey, these figures, thumbs up. I love villains. One of my favorite things to say is bring on the villains, guys. I mean, the market has been cornered with with good guys. There's this good, good guys, good guys, good guys, good guys, good guys, good guys. Good, good, yeah, good guys. We need more villains. If you're listening, Hasbro, you're doing a good job. Do a good job. You're pushing some stuff out. Like, you know, 
Living Laser coming in the next Avengers wave. But, I mean, bring on the bad guys. And like I said, this, to me... I don't know. To me, this is this is this is the best figure of the wave, besides the build a figure, which is coming up next in my stuff and things review. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as always, this has been a stuff and things review.